So would you like to get started using Trello? Trello is an amazing place where we can start organizing tasks and managing projects. Let's see how we can get started here into Trello. You have the link to download in the description guys so we can all get started totally for free. Now Trello is an amazing place where we can all get started creating once again, organizing stuff, whether you are new or just a refresher. I'm going to leave you a link to download in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Once you have signed up, once you have signed in, you might be seeing that you have here this element. So in my case, we wanted to go for logged in with another account and I choose my account. In my case, we already have an account, right? So once we already have an account, let's just start with our first board. It's really easy to start with our boards. So by default, you have a board created by Trello. So you don't want to focus it up. You can, of course, create your board if you want to or delete the one that you previously have. So here, I'm going to delete this workspace. So here it is, work space, the link to the workspace name, espacio de trabajo. The, now we're going to start with my very uh, first workspace. So here into the upper side, we have the create and I can start with a template. Now a template can be helping me to do the process much more faster and easier. So Trello uses a simple uh, hierarchy of boards, lists and cards to help you organize your tasks. So to get started, let's say, for example, that I go for a company overview or a product management. So I select it. Here's my board title, the best ability. And if you wanted to keep some cards, I'm going to key into create. And into the lip pod here is my board created, which is project management. Now, as you can see, by default, we have the project resources looked as a board. And we can change the view of this element. Uh, for table, calendar, timeline, dashboard, and much more. Of course, we need to, of course, to choose a upgrade for that. But in this case, I'm going to focus only with the board. Now, if there's something you do or you don't want to see, just go for the three dots, scroll a little bit down, and achieve all the cost in this list. Now, you can see that there's nothing into the product resource. You can delete the list if you wanted to, or you can just create a new rule or change how it actually looks here. For example, product resources, Let's say, for example, to do daily or daily tasks, daily tasks, and I can start adding tasks. So here I can open very first card, for example, do laundry. And there we go. Once you have created an actual card, what you can do is to just click into this card so you can display more information about your card. For example, notification, the description. So do number one, task number one, do um, task number two, and so on and on. Hit now into save. And if you're working with more people here into the left pod or into the right side, have the members guide. You can add a new member into this card and we can assign elements to them. I can add different labels and I can add checklist to see how it actually looks my checklist. So my checklist, for example, let's say do one, do two, do three, and much more. I hit into add and I can see that the check mark progression appears the so each time that I click into someone, the checklist has now been successfully done. And lastly, we have now the dates, attachment, the cover of how it actually looks and, and the custom fields. Lastly, we have some power apps. Now the power apps can be helping you to enable elements and feature stuff and communicate much more faster with your work. So for example, I can use Google Drive to add this project and add files directly from the new drive files to a card. And I can attach this element and add them directly inside my board and make my work much more faster. So we can add a new item, we can add a new power up, or we can connect my Google account here in order to make use of this element. And lastly, what we can do is to set up some few notifications. So to stay updated, we can of course go directly into the settings profiles. Here into settings, you want to focus into the notifications and activate it here, the notification, so we can use settings for email and in-app alerts. And of course, what I can surely suggest to you is that you're going to be using Trello a lot. You want to access Trello on the mobile because this one is available into a mobile application for iOS and Android. So download it so you can manage your tasks on the go. 
And that is actually it guys, a really basic tutorial how you can get started using Trello. You can do as much words, as much word spaces as you possibly can, but it can just you to, to keep in mind that you have the different boards. And of course, what you can do is to go for different tasks just in case you want to delete or close a board, choose the option that says closed and you are good to go. So guys, with that being said, you have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see much more great tools of how we can use the Trello for your daily tasks and much more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully with this great tutorial, we can see you to a brand new section of TechQuest. See you next time.